hard workers. So what about Joe? Did you hear about his story? He died, right? Some yeah. cancer or something? That's also a shame. Too much to it in these freaking minds. No, one, one day we might all even die of the same thing he did. Yeah. Wait, Alex, why aren't the lights on? They should be on right now, shouldn't they? Look, maybe I should try this. That never works here. Damn it. Gotta go talk to the union again. Seriously. Did you bring the matches? Nah, I'm out. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, wait, Alex. I found a match. Oh. Praise Jesus. Let's see if I can light it. Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, snap. Oh. That was my last one, too. Great. Darkness again. Guess we're gonna have to work in the dark. I'm already used to it. Hey Alex, aren't these beams pretty old? Yeah, they get worse and worse every day. What's that noise? What's what noise? Ah! Oh! Alex! Ah, tell my wife I love her. Oh, what a shame not to tell everybody at work. I have to report this to the union. And worst of all, I have to tell his wife. My best friend. Ah. Alex is a good friend. I have to go looking for a new friend. Ah, damn. It's never really good in making friends anyways. Oh, well. I can't believe I just got fired. Been working in the meat factory for years. You got fired? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I just got fired from the part myself today. Been there a couple weeks. A couple weeks? Where, yeah. Where'd you go before that? I just came here. Fresh off the boat. Really? Yeah. My family is still back in the old country. Ireland. You're from Ireland, I see. Yeah. Well, I was from Ireland at one point too. And what happened? I was persecuted for my religion. I had to flee the country. I feel your pain. As was I. And on top of that, on top of being fired, my rent was due today. I can't even pay it now. I feel your pain, buddy. I had to do it. I had to pay today too. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> Like we're both homeless now. Only the landlord could have understood my pain. Mm -hmm. But no. Kicked me into the street. I like straight care out. About is that money? What's the point of leaving my country to live this life I am living? It's the life of the poor man. It's not the life I was expecting coming to America. I don't think anyone would have expected this. What happened to um, living the dream? weapons to the land of opportunity. It was all propaganda. Yes, it was. Now we gotta find a place to sleep for tonight. We gotta get it through this cold weather. Aye. We better get going. It's mm -hmm. going to get any colder.
Hey, the boss is calling me. Why is he calling you? I don't know. He just told me to call you. Let's hear him as soon as possible. Okay. All right, hold on. The boss wants to see me. I wonder what I did wrong this time. Where's this bastard I called for? Called for him minutes ago. You want to see me, sir? It's about time you got here. Sit down. What's the matter? What happened with our motors? Motors for who? Motors for who? What do you mean for who? Motors for, who? for me. Well. At least have a nickel, a penny, anything would do at this moment. I don't have any money on me right now, but I could help you in a different way. And how do you expect to help me? Just come with me. And how do I know you can be trusted? Blind faith, just come. Claudia will bring the dinner right now, in a moment. Sir, yeah. why, why are you doing this? Because I'm a good Christian. Sorry, Clark. I was thinking about society, and I was looking through town. Saw all those bums out on the street. All those people left without a job. And I decided to come to you, and I knew you could... You could think of something, you could help me think of something we can start to fix society. Oh, Mr. Wayne, I agree with you on that. I too was walking through town and came across these unfortunate people who have that stinks and they need. And I agree. I think government should be doing something about this. What do you think we should do? Propose the bill? We should probably propose a bill to. To help the less, the less fortunate. Let's come on. We're up here, up in society, and we never really, most of us never think about what we have. Just, I want you to help me propose a bill to take to all the branches and see what can be done in this society. Mr. Wayne, I say you and me work together. We write up this bill make it pass through Congress and the Senate, get it on the President's desk, get it signed, and be able to help the poor people in this great nation. I like your plan, sir. I'm really glad I came to you. I knew you were the person to trust. With this passed and signed, we can go a long ways for a long time. I would like to keep in touch with you. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. 